Hey guys, it's Jean-Claude. We're back today with a mass mutations opening. If you didn't see yesterday's video where we opened up our last Worlds Collide deck, I highly suggest you go back and watch it. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link right up there. All right, it was actually a great finish to Worlds Collide, if I do say so myself. Yellow Archon, first house. Sorion, second house. Shadows, and the third house is Star Alliance. Nori, Chamber Chancellor, and as always, Yellow Archon, it's hard to see, almost like a big alien brain looking thing there. Tentacles down below, all right. In the Worlds Collide deck, I did mention how much better I thought the Saurians were, so this is Mass Mutation's chance to prove itself right here. All right, we are starting off with Star Alliance, it's Techno Alien, four power, fight. Look at the top three cards of your deck, put one in your hand and one at the bottom of your deck. Reap, discard a card from your hand. If you do, you draw a card. Great effect, whether you're fighting or reaping, you're gonna be doing some card cycling there. Cartanu, one power, reap. Use an artifact controlled by any player as if it were yours. Interesting. Anthony, six power, play. Capture all of your opponent's amber. At the end of your turn, move one amber from Anthony to your opponent's pool. Good card. Ooh, a second one of those, and it's enhanced with a capture pip. Survey, Amber W Plate, enhance the draw pip. Look at the top two cards of your deck, discard one of them. Subject Kirby with a damage pip and a draw pip. Two power, play, fight, reap. You may play a non Star Alliance creature this turn. Dang, we're already in the common, so we don't have a chance of getting a transporter platform with this guy. That could have been awesome. Subdue, Amber W Plate, deal one damage to a creature and stun it. Sensor Chief Garcia, three power, play, fight, reap. Keys cost plus two Amber during your opponent's next turn. Security Droid, 4 power, Taunt. Maybe play it as an upgrade instead of a creature with the text, this creature gains Taunt. Explo Rover, 3 power, Skirmish. Maybe play it as an upgrade instead of a creature, it gives the creature Skirmish. Blast Shielding, it's an upgrade. Amber W play it, this creature gets plus 2 armor. After this creature is used, its controller may attach it to one of its creature's neighbors. Oh my gosh, we have ourselves a Maverick Lethologica. Amber W play it, wait a minute. Talk about the ultimate cycling card. Let's see why. Discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Logos card or run out of cards. If you discard a Logos card this way, put it into your hand. Well, I'll tell you what, we have zero shot of getting a Logos card. Ooh, man, what a bad Maverick. I guess if we somehow played all the cards we wanted to already, oh, you can't count on that. What a crazy Maverick, oh my gosh. They really should have made these cards that referenced houses, maybe not make them Mavericks. All right, we're on to Shadows, the Sting. It's an artifact, Amber and have you play it. Skip your Forge Key step. You get all Amber spent by your opponent when Forge Keys. Action, destroy the Sting. Splinter, damage whenever you play it. One power, it enhanced six damage pips. Ransack, steal one Amber. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a Shadows card, trigger this effect again. Macus Asp, three power, skirmish, and poison. Borrow, one Amber and have you play it. Take control of an enemy artifact. While under your control, it belongs to House Shadows. Such a good card. Subtle auto, one power play. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. A second one of those. Ooh, red penny, one power play. Steal an amber destroyed, shuffle it into your deck. Ooh, a second red penny, this one with a capture pip. So if our opponent goes up to seven amber, this red penny can take him off check. Opportunist, it's an upgrade. Amber never you play it. This creature gains elusive. Play this creature captures an amber from its opponent. Nexus with a damage pip. Three power elusive, reap. Use an enemy artifact as if it were yours. Dark Wave, Amber whenever you play it, deal 2 damage to each non-mutant creature. Now we're on to the Saurians, it's Patronage. Move half of the Amber from a creature to your pool, rounding up. Move the remaining Amber from that creature to your opponent's pool. Okay, that has some interesting things that can go without imagine. Pterodactyl with a damage pip, 12 power, enters play stunned, only deals 4 damage when fighting. Before the fight, deal 4 damage to each neighbor of the creature, Pterodactyl fights. Siren Horn, it's an upgrade, Amber whenever you play it. This creature gains before the fight, move 1 Amber from this creature to the creature fights. Library of Polyasaurus, it's an artifact action. Move one amber from a friendly creature to your pool. Okay, so far this Saurians has a pile of ways to move amber. This is only the fourth card, but we don't seem to have any creatures yet that are putting amber onto themselves. Oh boy, now I really hope we do get some big capture guys, maybe like the Octavia where it can capture two amber as an action. Here's Humble, amber whenever you play it with the damage pip. Exhaust a creature, if you do, move three amber from that creature to the common supply. Curiosaurus, it's an artifact. Each creature with amber on it gains destroyed. Move one amber from this creature to the most powerful enemy creature. This is a really cool card. I love the game that it makes you and your opponent play. Constantly going back and forth. And this also could be pretty good with that humble. We'll discuss that later on. 
Ancient Power. Oh, that's real good with the Curia. Amber, whenever you play it, ward each friendly creature with Amber on it. Spoils of Battle, Amber, whenever you play it, with a Damage Pip. A friendly creature captures an Amber. Each creature with Amber on it captures one Amber from its opponent. Hey, there we go, we do have an Octavia. Five power, one armor, action, capture two Amber. Console Primus, three power to enhance a capture pip, probably that one on the Rad Penny. Reap, move one Amber from a creature to another creature. It's a great effect in here. Ooh, a second one of those. Oh, what a fantastic finish. Axiom of Grisk, ward a creature, destroy each creature with no Amber on it, gain two chains. Okay, that Sorion started off kind of iffy, finished off very strong. The Curia in here is going to be very, very powerful. Let's get our Amber up as we always do. Let's see here, okay. Decent amount in Saurions. Definitely going to get some steals off those red pennies. You could almost count them as more than one, but we'll just do one for now. The Sting, questionable. I don't think this deck can rush fast enough to reliably throw the Sting down after you forge key before your opponent. Deck did have a lot of Amber control as I went back through it though. For Amber, we have one, two, three, four, five. Would love to bump that up to 11, but we won't. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's a pretty good Amber count. For what I'm expecting the rest of this deck to be, all right, let's see our Amber control, which this should be very powerful. Let's see, there, there. Opportunist is nice for a couple reasons in this deck. Siren Horn can take some of the Amber our opponent would be getting and give it back to them. Humble gets rid of some Amber that our opponent could be taking. Spoils of Battle, of course. Console Primus, moving Amber around is always sweet. Yeah, this is looking pretty solid, actually. I guess we'll count the Patronage. I'm not sure if it actually will have any value. We'll just call it one maybe in here for now. Let's see. And as far as creatures, okay, not bad. Oh, Anthony, sweet. All right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, my Lord. We had one other deck in this box that had 16. That is insane. What's great about this is this Amber Control is varied. We have some really big ones like the Anthony here. We have some small ones like the Rad Pennies. You got some medium-sized ones thanks to like Sensor Chief Garcia. And the other Rad Penny that just happens to essentially take your opponent off check with 7 Amber. Thanks to a Capture Pip, Ransack can do that as well. Whew, man, how many creatures are in this? This looks pretty sweet. I don't know if it's like the most powerful deck I've ever seen, but it does feel like it has some great synergy that it's bringing forward. <laughs> Lethal Logica, wow, how goofy is that? All right, oh, we must have been pretty low on creatures. Actually, this should be a big pocket back here. We pulled up just about everything else this could have been. Okay, nice, let's see, one, five, 10, 15, Ooh, 19. Very nice. More than I was expecting. I was almost thinking with how good our Amber Control and Amber Counts were, we were going to see maybe like 16, so that's pretty positive. Although a lot of our Amber Control did come on those creatures, so that does make sense. Well, the first thing I want to say about this deck is it's actually interesting how much artifact control it had. The Cartoonu could essentially get rid of our opponent's Omni Sacrifice artifacts. Same with Nexus. And we also had the Borrow, which is pretty sweet. So there's three different ways we could get it. Now, I don't like Kartanu uh, being able to do it because it does only have one power. But that is something that's pretty cool about this deck. Three different cards controlling your opponent's artifact. Along with this Amber Control count, that is really good. The card I'm probably most excited about in this deck has to be... Let's get it up here. Here we go. Why am I so excited about this card? Well, this allows us to spread our captured Amber very thin across all these different creatures, which will then make it where our opponent doesn't get it back. We throw it onto our opponent's creatures. And it's really cool, especially combined with like console primus here. I said, just being able to really spread them thin because we have both Axiom of Grisk, which maybe isn't that great if our opponent's also doing it with the carry as well. It's not a one-sided effect, but it's really good with Ancient Power. Check that out. Putting all the Amber all across our creatures, playing the Ancient Power, we could potentially ward our entire board. That is so good. I like that quite a bit. Officer Kirby with the draw pip is pretty nice. That makes it a great cycler in here. So you draw the card, potentially it's a Star Alliance card. Kirby on his own is going to be getting some other creatures out off house. So that's pretty sweet. Techno Alien was also helping us. Lethal Logica and Survey were in here to kind of help move the deck. But it's not really that much of a mover. None of the other houses 
could do anything maybe other than ransack. You know, it is possible if we play this like a control deck that we could forge the first key and maybe the sting could get us ahead. That would be pretty nice. Another thing I want to point out with the sting here, that Kartanu, Kartanu, whatever it is, here we go. If we reap with this guy, this could allow us on a Star Alliance turn to get rid of the sting by using its action. You don't necessarily need to be on a Shadow's turn to get rid of it in this deck. Nexus can't do that because it has to be an opponent's artifact, so really the ability to potentially do it on a Star Alliance turn is pretty nice. Spoils of Battle is extra nice in here. Good chance our creatures will have one Amber on it already thanks to all these other effects. Spoils of Battle, put two on it. Now three after the secondary effect. Humble away all the Amber on that creature. Very cool. Humble is also really good here because we have that Pterodactyl. There's a good chance for that Kyria as our opponent's losing all their creatures. That Pterodactyl is going to start stockpiling a decent amount of Amber and Humble will help keep it in check. This is a really cool looking deck guys. What do you think about this thing? You got to let me know down below. This just has a lot of really fun interactions. Great cards really. Very powerful effects, except for that Lethal Logical. Man, I cannot believe what a silly Maverick to have in such an awesome deck. All right, it's honestly probably a little too early to be doing these ratings, but I'm pretty confident in this deck. This thing has to be at least a B plus. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.